Hey, welcome to AJM CSS Hacks. So I'm gonna walk you through how to take the Squarespace Lightbox form and make it look not terrible. Um, so we start with our form. If you don't know how to create the Lightbox, you just create a normal form, but in the design settings, you just toggle Lightbox on. You can of course customize the form itself however you see fit. We're then stuck with this really boring light box. So I will show you using the code I'm providing below this video on my website to show you, you know, how to make this look a little bit better. I'll go ahead and open the form, go over to design, custom CSS, get all of my other CSS out of the way. All right, so here is all of the info that's underneath the video on my website and you can just copy and paste changes you want so let's start with changing the font so this code here will help you change uh, the font colors styles all of that font family so you can see the form title so we're starting with the form title which is here color i'm going to choose my one of my brand colors so i'll change that and you'll see it reflected here um, i'm telling it to use the specific font family but if you want it to just pull from the normal squarespace settings you could totally take that out your call change the font size whatever you want to do here um, field list that's going to apply to the name email all of these actual titles of each field so again you can play around with the color. You could change the font family or just leave it. Um, you could change the font size. So that is all available there. Next step is going to be styling the button. So I will copy and paste this part of the code over and you can use whatever part to this mix and match. If you don't want to do everything, totally your call. So here, same, very similar. You're changing color here is actually the color of the font on the button. Um, this is your background color. Mine's this red right now. You can play around with the letter spacing, the font weight. Um, border radius is how rounded your button is. So depending on your brand, maybe you have a square button, maybe you have a rounded button. So you can play around with that. Um, if you know any CSS, you can of course pull and change and add different things here. Like if you wanted to um, pull over uh, above here when we had the uh, different font styles. You could pull over the different font families. Whatever you want to do, you could add within the brackets. If I'm happy there, my next step is going to be the background color. So this is a step you may or may not want to do. Totally your call. So right now I have it just set as white, but if I wanted to do maybe um, one of my brand colors, I'm going to pull in the same color it'll of course make the new form disappear. So I could go up and say, okay, now I actually want the background this color and this to be black. So again, um, keep the background size, all of that can stay stagnant. Background color is here. Now, one thing that's important to note is there is this background image uh, spot here. You can totally remove that if you just plan to do a background color that's not necessary. If you're going to put a background image, I'll show you how that works. Okay, so from here, I am going to, I decided I wanted to put a, back, a photo in the background. So one thing to note in this post that I've made, I've shown you the correct dimensions for your light box. So make sure to make whatever background you're going to create that size. And then you're simply going to put it in this XXX spot. So <clears throat> I will back out here. My cursor is where the XXX was. I think my little icon is maybe in the way, but you click custom files, add images or fonts. Mine is on my desktop. So let me grab that. No, that's a lie. Where did I save it? Okay, found it, sorry. So again, add images or fonts. Mine's on my desktop. Go ahead and do that. You then need to choose, just click on the one you uploaded that you're trying to use, and you'll see it reflected over here. So all I did was a half turquoise, half white background. So this is the image I uploaded, and it's now part of the form. Um, pretty simple. So one other note, 
Um, here in my post, I show you the background images can be a little wonky on mobile. So if you do want to choose that background image, maybe use this code instead. It just targets only screens that are larger than the phone, and then you wouldn't have that background image on smaller screens so you don't get a crazy mobile view. Um, okay, great. Hope you love it.